people oftentimes find it absolutely terrifying. Some people find it to be very beautiful and like connect with it. Um, my mother thinks it's quite haunting. <laughs> my name is Nausicaa. I grew up in Asheville and yeah, I am a painter. Um, I actually didn't start painting until I was about 15. Uh, for most of my life, I was drawing and I've been drawing ever since I can remember. My father taught me how to. So how did you get started into doing like portraits and people and stuff like that? I suppose that's always what I would sketch and in a lot of my classes I would <laughs> pretty much just draw the whole time and so I'd sometimes draw people around me or just facial features and whatnot and so it kind of developed into like a love for doing portraits of people I know and self-portraits for practice and whatnot so. All right so these two self-portraits are somewhat related and they're kind of, I consider them like opposites. I did this one like in a very structured environment. I did it in class looking in a mirror, standing up the entire time I painted it. Whereas this one I did at night always. I would only paint this one at night and I'd stay up until like 7 a.m. working on this one. And this one came from a much deeper like emotional place. I think for a lot of it I was actually crying. And I'm not totally, I don't remember why. <laughs> Definitely don't remember why. Well, I mean, they are self-portraits, but I see them more as like a reflection of other people or other experiences or a translation of feeling, I suppose. So as they are a mirror as much as they are a self-portrait. Yeah, you have to have experiences because that's where a lot of the inspiration is going to come from. I mean, people create what they know. Mm -hmm. So if all you know is one place, then like, what are you really doing? So what medium do you enjoy the most? My favorite is definitely oil painting. It's just that it's tedious and takes weeks to months to dry. So I don't do it as often as I'd like. So lately I've been doing a lot of watercolor simply because it's quick and efficient. The first time I did a watercolor painting was this one and this one. Wow. And that's kind of what got me into doing watercolor, actually. Mm. Those watercolors over there are inspired by weird dreams I've had, like the one with the spider. <laughs> That was an actual dream I had, and in the dream there was that exact spider. I remember waking up and like sketching it down really quickly just so I wouldn't forget. So I normally only paint when I'm in like an emotional state, because I want it to be very raw. I want to translate exactly what I'm feeling in that exact moment. Feelings are very fleeting, and so you have to capture them while they're there, or else I feel like it's not as authentic. These are all somewhat related, especially these four in the corners. I did them all at a very specific time in my life. Um, and they were also during like the beginning of quarantine and at a time when I was like very, very sick. And I actually thought that I was going to die. <laughs> so like, it was just a very emotional, emotional time. Um, so it's kind of just like the process of like, kind of coming to terms with a lot of like, darker themes of life that I've never had to face before. I think I'd like to one day own my own gallery is really kind of the direction I'd like to go in and just like facilitate like, I don't know, a learning environment for other people that's like more open, I suppose. And my plan right now, like my long-term goal is to try to make it work in Berlin because I really appreciate the art scene there. And I just think with my like really absurd style, it might have a better shot in that environment. I think it would just thrive a little bit more there. With a lot of these, like they are related, I suppose like, I mean, there are many reasons that I do self-portraits, but a small reason I do them is also partly just trying to figure out my own self. It's like, it's all a process. I'm processing in each and every one of those, those pieces. So there's still a lot of mystery. And I mean, I suppose with anyone, I mean, I'm only 22. So I don't, I also don't expect myself to like know myself at this point. But yeah, the questions are still unanswered. Um, but the emotions are processed, if that makes sense. <laughs>